When it comes to clothing for cold weather, there is a generation gap in terms of what people think is essential. Antoine Lewis has the story from New York City. Adult New Yorkers know when it's cold outside, you bundle up. But teen and tween New Yorkers, eh. My school uniform itself is pretty hot, so like, I don't feel the cold as much as my parents do. Bella Cavallero among scores of 12 to 17 year olds not bundling up when leaving the house. And it's a source of frustration for her mom, India. She doesn't have a hat on. She doesn't, like, and a lot of kids are like that. Because I bring her to school every day. They're all like that. No hat, no scarf, no gloves. I don't feel like doing it. It's just be too tight sometimes too. So it's just better to, to leave it out. So for certain generations, the rule of thought was always bundle up, keep your head covered so that you won't catch a cold. But is that really the case? So we decided to ask an expert. And Dr. James Schneider, chief of pediatric critical care at Cohen Children's Medical Center says there is a hint of truth. And the hint is that if you were to become excessively cold, really more hypothermic, which is in itself, a, a, I'll say an illness of being excessively cold, it can affect your immune system to make it a little weaker. But if you're talking about running outside for playing for 20 minutes when it's 50 degrees out or 40 degrees out, you're not wearing a coat, you're really not going to catch a cold. For me, I'm, I'm comfortable like this. I got a hoodie on. I wear my thermal. I'm good. One of the prevailing thoughts among young people is that coats are bulky and many simply opt for something lighter, say a hoodie. But not 15-year-old Serena Sanchez. I put mine on because I'm not trying to get sick. It's dirty, 20 degrees every day this week. And colds catch like this, and COVID's still a thing. A couple weeks ago, I did wear a coat. It was that cold. India says she's given up fighting with her daughter mornings before school, and she's moved into a wait-and-see attitude, she says. I'm pretty sure when she starts getting older, she'll start wearing the scarf and the gloves. I don't really know at what age they'll start feeling the cold, because I see a lot of high school students that still won't close their coat and stuff. It's amazing. I'm telling you, it's a superpower.